Hi guys, so welcome back to another video and today I'm going to swatch and review these peacock gels which I got from AliExpress. I got all of them from the seller called V3 store, but for some reason I did order it uh, in two separate batches. The first batch was all from the Kani brand or Kani and the second batch was uh, from Vena Lisa, but the bottles look exactly the same so I think they are from one and the same like um like seller or anything like that um but i'm going to swatch all of these colors separately on top of swatch nails and a black gel polish just to make sure i show all the colors perfectly but in each bottle uh, bottle sorry <laughs> is seven and a half milliliters and this is the 721 so yeah, the brush looks really nice. The colors look really beautiful as well. Um, I am going to swatch them all on top of black to make sure that the colors look really pretty and actually really vibrant. So yeah, let's just continue with this first shade. As I said, it is 721. This is what it looks like on the brush. And I'm just going on a black base directly. And sorry if I'm a little bit out of focus from time to time. I'm still just looking and trying out how to record like perfectly with my new phone. And it has like a mind of its own or at least the out of focus does. So just bear with me people. <laughs> but this is the first color um they don't have names they only have numbers so this is 721 and it has a beautiful bluish and teal kind of shimmer in it it's not like pure glitter or anything like that but it's more like flaky with some shimmer and glitter in it so here I'm just applying the top coat and I'm curing every layer for a full minute just to be sure it is completely cured as well as the top coat layer. And that is what 721 looks like. It is really beautiful. Um, I would love to try this one out on top of a blue color or even a teal kind of tone just to see what it looks like. But for now I just swatched them all on black. Then the second color is 722 and this one is by the Cunny brand. It looks really beautiful on the brush again. Um, I'm only applying one layer on top of the black base just to show you what it does with just one layer. Of course you can always build it up by adding more layers to make it more opaque. But just to show you what it does with the first layer, I think it's pretty impressive, especially this color. Um, 722 is like a beautiful green and a little bit of gold and just a slight hint of bluish purple in there. I think it is beautiful, really, really beautiful. I just can't get over how pretty I think this one is. Especially with the top coat on top of it, it really, really pops. And on the black, it is just really, really pretty. Then the next one is 723, again from the Kani brand. Um, this one is more of like a bluish purple with a little bit of green in it. So I'm just going to apply it as all the other colors on top of the black. And oh, I love this one so much. It is so beautiful. And the color payoff is really nice though. I think this could be like 90% opaque with two layers. Oh, and sorry guys, if my voice is a little bit cracky, I don't know what's going on, but for some reason, every time I want to record a voiceover today, my voice gets like totally cracky and I don't even know what's going on. It isn't even that late in the evening, but I really have to upload this video because I have to upload it in a couple of hours. <laughs> But yeah, sorry about that. But the 723 is a really, really beautiful, like bluish purple color. Really, really gorgeous. And next up is 720. 
24 and 724 is a little bit a mix it's mostly green but i do feel like there is some gold and some pinkish purple in there as well it is a really really diverse one um but if you look at it in like a little bit less bright light than what i'm using to record this video it has so much color and it looks really really green but underneath this led light i am using it is really really like a multicolor really gorgeous and of course i'm capping it in with a little bit of top coat but this one oh man that top coat really makes it lively um as you can see on the bottle you can actually see some colors and that are the colors that are in that peacock gel polish so the next one 725 is kind of a mix again i do feel that some of these colors are pretty similar but some contain a little bit more green and others a little bit more blue they do look kind of similar on the brush but compared next to each other or when you just lay them down next to each other the swatches they do look a little bit different but similar at the same time i don't even know how to explain this but they look really really pretty but the 725 is a little bit of a bluish purple with some green in it i feel like it is like a 30% green, 30% glue, uh, glue, <laughs> blue, I mean, and 30% purple. Um, but I feel like the green is so bright that it kind of overrules all the other shades, if you know what I mean. But the other shade, the last one we are going to swatch today is the 726. And this one is oh, so beautiful. This to me personally is like a galaxy in a little bottle, if you know what I mean. It is so gorgeous, especially on the nail. It gives such a beautiful, just a full color range with loads of purple in there. I feel like there is some kind of like redness in there as well, which I think is pretty unique and really beautiful. But mostly it is like a purple with a little bit of green and a little bit of like a reddish hue to it i don't even know how to explain but you will see me just swatching it and once i've added the top coat it is such a beautiful shade it is insane um but i did wanted to give you some extra information about all of these polishes as well because um i bought these um in two different like batches for some reason i did get different brands <laughs> please explain to me how that's possible because i took the exact same um article or product at aliexpress but i really do think that they are exactly the same but just have other stickers and they come from like the same batch in total you know um but yeah i'm just going to lay them all down for you so you can see them side to side and i really think they are beautiful though i really can't pick just one favorite i think there are so many beautiful shades i really do think that the multicolored ones especially the 226 is one of my favorites but the um 723 as well I can't just pick one favorite. I'm really bad at it. I'm really a Libra when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> I can't just make up my mind that quick. But I am definitely going to try these out um, on my natural nails with uh, another like gel polish design. So if you want to see something like that, do let me know in the comments down below. I got all of these polishes from the AliExpress seller called V3 Store. And I purchased them for two euros 84 each. So they are below three euro each. I'm not sponsored in any way to make this video. But I just really wanted to share my thoughts and my swatches about them. Here you can see me... Uh, um, recording them or at least the swatch nails in some other lighting just to show you what they look like here you can see again i got the canny and the vanalisa brand but in my opinion it is the same thing but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video